Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I just I just woke up half an hour ago and I found a new game, Unforeseen Incidents. Let's start. It's 5.30 p.m. Hmm. You're listening to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby and the Duke. Coming to you live from the Seagull Stadium in beautiful Port Nicola. Our top story today is still the outbreak in Yelltown. Tell us about that, Duke. An area of farmland outside Yelltown is still in quarantine one week after the deaths of three people with fever-like symptoms. It's Senator like... Sylvia Thurlow, head of the Bureau of Public Health, gave a press conference earlier today. Let me reassure the people of Yelltown that the risk of contagion is very, very small. However, if you do experience a high fever, nosebleeds, or coughing fever, yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Calm, you will fucking die. Are, and call the RHC emergency hotline on triple one, triple one. That number again, triple one, triple one. Yo, my, my middle I finger is itching. I'll Yelltown get bitten or something. fit and healthy because you do not want to miss tonight's big game. That's right, Bobby. Port Nicholas Seagulls versus my team, the Blue Ridge Raccoons. <laughs> Raccoons suck. Go Gulls. <laughs> Whichever team you support, the atmosphere here in the stadium really is electric. So I think I'm this guy who is laying on the floor. Hello? Uh, hello? Harper, it's Rupert. Professor McBride, how are you? Not great, actually. There's a problem with my laptop. That's a very familiar phrase. <laughs> I know, I know. But it won't charge. And I'm right in the middle of processing some crucial data. I'm supposed to be driving over to Port Nicola today and... Say no more, Professor. I'll grab my multi-tool from upstairs and be right over. <laughs> oh, thank you, Harper. Uh, no problem. See you soon. See you soon. Oh, it's the same. Hmm, 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 hmm. nothing useful in there. Hmm. An old photo of Mom and Calvin in Greystone Woods. Yeah, I think I took that one. In Yelltown, the weather can get pretty rough come winter. Folk like their coats. Bad news, as usual. Hmm. No time to eat. I should get my multi-tool and head over to Professor McBride's. Where the fuck is your multi-tool, Dan? That TV will never work. But, but I can't... Uh, why why do you keep the TV down? Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, that's why that's why I say every day tomorrow. I can do it later. Not now. Go upstairs. Um I don't know, but uh, th this phase is a familiar one. If you if you guys wanna see uh, that's how my windows look. <laughs> I don't have uh, uh, cardboards. But I like... That's right, ladies. It's my ham radio. Uh, Harper, we Low love light. you. Your ham radio is so <laughs> cool. Calm yourselves, ladies, please. Shut up. No! I, I don't like the radio. What can I do here? I don't know how to use this shit. Leave me alone. My old Gigamaster family entertain. I lost two. My trusty 40 watt chisel. To I'm wondering what now. tools do I need to take to go uh, to that guy. My extensive wardrobe. I have exactly two pairs of pants. <laughs> oh, multi tool. There it is. Good old multi tool. Let's go fix the professor. Let's go. And repair the laptop, the charger. Outside. How is the weather? By the way, I think it's sunny. And I'm not sunny. No, where are you going? I, I wanted to inspect those things. 
He's going by himself. Oh, he came back? Hmm. Hey there. Oh, Harper. Thank goodness you're here. Come in. Thank goodness. What's the trouble, Professor? That blasted battery is trying to murder me. You know, for a scientist, you don't always... <laughs> it will not charge. And I'm in the middle of modeling the latest data from my research team. It's been processing all night. If I lose power now, I'll have to start over. I need this analysis for a very important presentation at PNU tomorrow. Can you fix it? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. What's the presentation, What's the presentation about? about? It's my analysis of factors leading up to the recent outbreak. Yelltown fever? Yes. No. Well, the trouble is, we don't really know what kind of disease it is yet. The Dean of Medicine asked me to address the virology department tomorrow. We're hoping my research might help fight whatever killed those people. Hmm. Tell them fever really that dangerous in the government uh, dealing with it. Can you find the like, hmm. Is Yelltown fever really that dangerous? I'm afraid so. The little brute seems to be acutely virulent. By all accounts, it kills in a matter of hours, not days. Jeez. What? Hours? What if I've got it? You'd know, Harper. I'm told symptoms start appearing immediately. What after kind of the disease is that? Those poor people. Don't lose hope, son. There's still time to contain it and prevent an epidemic. Hell, oh, isn't the government? Isn't the government yeah, doing The it? government uh, is yes, they play jiggling this his balls as always. The Rancho Health Not doing a thing. I thought RHC said everything was under control. That's how you know they're cacking their pants, Harper. See, I know these people, and I know they'll struggle to fight this disease without my input. Kind of find it. Cure. Can you find a cure? Uh, it's and not that, quite as simple as finding answer, a cure. But if anyone can beat this thing, it's my I will deal with uh, your charger. They're the best in the country. All we need is a sample of the bugger. So anyway. So anyway. Anyway. Okay, it's nearly so. out of juice and it isn't charging. I don't get it. I replaced the battery like two weeks ago. The laptop isn't charging for some reason. Yeah, and what should I do, power adapter? Let's take a oh, look. Oh, I see the problem. It's there. There's your problem, Professor. The power cable's frayed. Dash and blast! How did I miss that? Eh, it's no biggie. I can patch it up with my multi-tool and some electrical tape. Oh, good. Yes, I'm sure I have some electrical tape somewhere. Uh, leave it with me, Professor. Hmm. Well, let's see. Hmm. No electrical tape in here. Just some dusty old vinyl records. Those are classic blues pressings, Harper. Remember, you used to listen to them on my old turntable. It's 2017, Professor. I listen to tapes now. Yo, it doesn't matter. Take the vinyl records. I've done enough rummaging in Ba -da -da -da. Ah, it's a nice evening. Maybe I should take the cardboard off my window. Mm, maybe ah, not. It's a nice e Let's see here. No electrical tape here either. Why do you have so much junk? Junk? Out of interest, how tidy is your place right now? But I'm broke. You could use your sweet university dollar to hire a cleaner. Ha. This reminds me of what I used to help you out in the lab when I was a kid. Maybe we have different understandings of the word help. Should I check this place? Oh. No, I can't I can look into this one. Uh, drawer. Ah, here's the electrical tape. Found it. Excellent! Can you fix a laptop now? Hopefully. The cable is frayed in the middle. Probably. I need to strip and splice it, then insulate it somehow. Hmm. 
Ah, uh, my multi -tool. That's first time you use the scissor. Cable is frayed in them. I need to strip and... Yeah, fuck off. The multi-tool. How, how do I... Use it? I don't think the scissors are sharp. I don't want to cut that. But that's how you do it, the fucking ass. Oh my god. I don't think I ought to rent. No, but you can't use that, but I, I tried anyway. Pincers. Okay, I'll strip the cable and remove the frayed wire. Now, let's get splicey. <laughs> Looking good. Okay, let's make this safe ish. All right, let's plug this baby in. Okay, she's charging now, Professor. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Harper. How much do I owe you? And this one's on me. But a guy as smart as you shouldn't have to call the village idiot every time his <laughs> goes kablooey. Harper, oh, fuck I hate I'm not to the village you do idiot. yourself down like that. You're not the village idiot. I really appreciate your help. Sure thing, anytime. Although I look like the village idiot with this crayon. Hmm. Well, let's lab supplies. Look at this place a little bit. <clears throat> a lot of dusty academic stuff. All the stuff you need to run a lab. Oh, I can't look in that place. The other no drawer. need to snoop around here anymore. Hey, this telescope is pointing right at Mrs. Denman's bedroom window. What? <laughs> no, it isn't. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. You can see right through the net curtains. Harper, you're not too old for me to give you a hiding. <laughs> okay, let's leave. RHC emergency paramedics are here to protect your health, but why are they dressed like evil spacemen? They uh, don't want to the get Eagle sick, maybe. That statue has been My standing for God. years, frightening children. Attention, Yelltown! This area is experiencing an outbreak. Know the symptoms. Wow, the symptom list is long. Headache, fever, nausea, bleeding. Ew, gross. Bleeding from the nose, ears, mouth, or Yo. eyes. Mm -hmm. See the symptoms. Call the RHC emergency hotline on 111111. Well, I feel more relaxed. At least it's an easy number. What the? Whoa! She wasn't here uh, before. She's dying. Don't get close to her, fucking village Hello? idiot. You'll get sick. Hello? Jesus, everyone. Jesus, yeah, are you alright? She's right? fine. Get out of here. Leave me alone. But you need a doctor, or... Wait a minute. Is it... Is it the fever? Please. <laughs> Please. Get away from me. I can't just leave you here. I have to keep going. Where? Keep going? Are you crazy? We, we need to get you to a hospital. Don't come near me. The blood. <laughs> the blood? Oh, Jesus. What should I do? I know where I'm going. Just <laughs> forget you saw me. I'm going to call RHC. No, not RHC. What is happening? But you need a doctor. I just need you to leave me alone. 
RHC might be able to help you. I don't want their help. I'm going to call them. Please, don't. I think uh, this is not a real outbreak. It's like uh, an experiment that uh, has escaped under from uh, the control of RHC or someone. And they are doing things to the patients. How, how, how am I going to call? I don't even have a telephone. 